Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Ultimate Job Search and Career Podcast. I am the company's expert, and today we're going to talk about four hard skills that supercharge your career. Now, these are hard skills that I feel I'm speaking from experience here. I'd like to share some of the things that have helped me in my career. And uh, this applies to whatever your career happens to be. Okay. If you are thinking of a traditional career where you work up in a corporate environment, you sort of climb the ladder. um, That's one thing. And and these apply to that. Um, Also, if you are thinking of a career that goes outside of the corporate environment, you are wanting to end up controlling your income, running your own company, uh, you know, that sort of thing not within a corporate career, um, but just doing it on your own, not having a boss, uh, that, that sort of thing. These apply also. So let's get into it here. Um, four hard skills that supercharge your career. Now, first of all, hopefully everybody understands the difference between hard skills and soft skills. The previous episode of this podcast was about four soft skills that supercharge your career. Those are things that, uh, you don't necessarily have to learn from a book. They're things that, um, you know, skills you have just when somebody meets you, they can tell immediately that you have these. Hard skills are more technical skills. These are things that you learn uh, from a book that you you have to be trained in. Um, Okay, Um, they're more technical in nature, but these are things that apply generally, okay, no matter what your uh, particular uh, background is, what your profession is, what your occupation is, whether you work in a warehouse, whether you work, um, you know, in sales, whether you, uh, repair equipment for a lifetime or whether you drive a truck for a lifetime, these, these will apply in any occupation. Okay. So hard skill. So the first hard skill I'd like to talk about is people management. Okay. Now, um, being able to organize a group of people, is more than just being able to smile and shake hands and have a conversation, okay? Knowing actual organizational skills and understanding, uh, you know, how to direct people and how to coordinate something and how to organize something, these are hard skills. This is, uh, uh, as the name suggests, people management. This is something you learn in management. So if you were to take a course in management, presumably you would learn this. Okay. Um, if you take a master's of business administration, you learn this. If you take a course that I offer called my $100 MBA, you also learn this. It is a staple of pretty much most, or it should, it should be all, but I'm sure most business and management programs. Okay. Um, if you are put in charge of a group of people, okay, being able to direct them and being able to uh, influence them is uh, very important, okay? And, um, you know, there's a technical element to this and it can be learned and uh, this will help you, okay? Because whatever your ambition is, usually, usually it involves other people too, okay? If you want to have your own company or you want to be a leader in an organization, uh, I mean, that implies you're directing lots of people, right? And so being able to understand how to do that technically is very, very important, okay? Now, um, incidentally, uh, the military has been studying this problem for something like 8,000 years on a formal basis, okay? The ability to get people to behave as you would have them behave is extremely important. Uh, A lot of things in the military involve teamwork. They involve lots of people all working together, uh, not as a collection of individuals, but as a, uh, as a team, basically. And so this is something that has been studied for like literally, as I say, formally for 8,000 years. So um, that uh, understanding how people uh, behave and how people uh, react and uh, this kind of thing is very, very important. So people management will help you uh, in your career in whatever career you're looking for. Okay. That's something that I definitely encourage people to check out. Okay. Second skill, second hard skill that will help you become a leader is understanding finance and or accounting. Okay. Particularly finance. If you don't know what the difference between finance and accounting is, accounting is talking about money in the past and finance is talking about money in the future. Okay. That's the difference between those two things. Um, finance especially is very important because, 
uh, a big part of finance is understanding, you know, if I do option A, what will that get me in the end? If I do option B, what will that get me in the end? And if I do option C, where will that land me in the end? Uh, and then of those three options, A, B, or C, uh, which, for, in which one am I better off, right? So it helps with decision making, okay? Uh, anybody that uh, hopes to have money needs to know finance because the obvious question is, what are you going to do with your money? And if you don't really know the answer to that, just keeping it and let it, letting it be whittled away by spending and by taxes and things like this is not really a valid option. Um, in, instead, people need to invest their money. And for that reason, they need to know what are the options. They need to know what to do. Um, and, you know, that's not just putting money in a bank. That's taking it and doing stuff with your money. <coughs> Excuse me. And in order to know that, in order to know what's the best thing to do, you need to learn about money. So if you ever hope to have money, you need to understand money. And uh, that's finance. It's no coincidence that rich people all seem to know finance. You know, uh, it's funny. I watch TV shows and things and um, their depictions of rich people always kind of amuse me because, uh, you know, the sort of middle class and poor people version of what rich people are are just people that sit around and do nothing and be privileged <laughs> you know uh that's not actually in my experience that's not actually true uh rich people as a bare minimum need to understand finance because what they tend to do is they tend to invest in things and if you keep making bad decisions you will lose your money <laughs> you know just this it's just that simple um think about you know when when uh people who are not rich walk into a, a casino or they play the stock market or something like this a lot of times people lose because they really don't know finance they don't really know what to do with their money and um i would say that anybody who gambles you know gambles in a casino like seriously um you know doesn't understand finance because if you did understand finance finance you would learn that gambling period just does not pay off um, you don't gamble you invest so learning about finance is very important if you hope to um, get ahead in life and have money and know what to do with it and keep it and have it grow learn finance okay uh, knowledge of finance tacked on to many other skills can go a long way so that's what i'll say okay so so for uh, hard skills that supercharge your career first we had people management then we have finance the third one is project management okay learning how to manage pro projects now this might not be the most important be all end all but it will certainly help you being able to know uh, all the things that come with project management, like organizational skills, things like this, uh, being able to um, successfully use a budget, things like this, very important, okay? Um, these will allow you to take on large projects and succeed, be able to make predictions, be able to stay organized, be able to control what you're doing, whether it's schedules or budgets or anything like that, um, you know, you will succeed being able to do things because most things in life are projects <laughs> right you know the way we improve the way we get our head uh, in most contexts is by doing projects so learning project management just just the basics of it just the sort of framework and some of the tools that they use can be a huge help okay i wouldn't say that everything depends on it but they certainly enable you to do great things okay and finally Skill number four, hard skill number four is sales. Now, a lot of introverts and a lot of people that are not in sales are going to cringe when I say this, okay? Uh, now, here's what I'll say to reassure you. I am an introvert and I didn't come up through sales. But learning a lot of elements of sales has been very eye-opening. And it, it, at least for me, as an introvert and someone who came up through operations, you really see how a lot of things you learn in sales is the missing ingredient to a lot of success plans. Because the fact of the matter is that for most things in this life, uh, most endeavors that we undertake, it involves an element of sales. You have to try and persuade people to do something. 
whether it's to buy your product or whether it's to get on board with what you're doing or whether to agree to help you, um, in some way, shape, or form, it does tend to boil down to sales. And specifically, what I'm talking about is that element of persuasion that uh, is endemic to a lot of activities in sales, okay? Um, learning marketing is very important, but separate from marketing are sales techniques. And uh, this is something that uh, is really, really very easy to do. There's really not that much to it, but people should be aware of the basics. And you can learn this. Um, I mean, I would say you could even learn a lot of this from like YouTube videos and things. You know, you really don't have to go back to school formally or anything to, to learn some of this. But these are technical skills and the impact that these have is amazing. It's actually a little disgusting for somebody that like me that came up through uh, through operations and not sales to see how how a lot of things depend on sales techniques and things and learning some of the principles that you that you use there um, in the world of entrepreneurship this is huge I mean I've worked with many many entrepreneurs I've been an entrepreneur and uh, you know one type of entrepreneur is the technical entrepreneur they come up with a technical innovation of some kind and uh, that's great. That's amazing. You know, the whole world moves forward on the hinge of people like this who come up with technical innovations. The problem is, is that if you create some kind of um, new device, new technology, new methodology, whatever, uh, but you can't get anyone interested in it, you can't, you know, demonstrate that other people should listen to the to what you have to say and adopt what you are proposing then it goes nowhere an invention that could change the world but nobody is aware of and nobody even wants to try out doesn't do any good so this is kind of the missing ingredient for a lot of things so um this applies in a corporate environment if you have an idea but you can't sell the idea to other people um, or it applies in an entrepreneurial environment where, you know, you're just trying to make it on your own, but you can't get anyone interested in this amazing thing you've done. Uh, sales is the answer. So those are four technical skills, four hard skills, okay, that if you know this stuff, okay, this will supercharge your career. You can tack these on to your existing skills, and they really position you to take what you're doing right now to the next level, okay? People management, finance, project management, and sales. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the, in the uh, comments if you have any questions or you'd like me to go deeper into any of these uh, or anything else. And um, I read all the comments, so that would be perfect. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you again on the Ultimate Job Search and Career Podcast. Take care.